I'm Steve Kaufman. I'd like to welcome you to A Course in Bluegrass Guitar Rhythm. Going back to G, ball bass cannonball. Okay, now something important happened in, in that stretch of wall bass cannonball. I hit an upswing on some of the strums. I don't know if you caught it. After I hit the first upswing, I made it a definite upswing. Two, three, start on G. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's a bass walk. C chord. Let's go to D. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Here's a measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm going to use a G7 coming up here. That's going to tell everyone that I'm moving. D7. Here's the bass walk back. One, two, three, four, one, two. You can use, so you can walk your bass around. You can do hammer-ons. If you're going to do a hammer-on, well, you really just have two fingers to deal with. You can either hammer on the fifth string or hammer on the fourth string. So several measures of E minor, not necessarily connected with this tune, would be sixth string strum, fifth string hammer-on, or you can go back to the sixth string, fourth string hammer-on, either way. You can mix them up any way you want to. So you could hit one measure of E minor going 6th string, 5th string hammer on, 4th string hammer on, back to the 5th string hammer on, then do a bass walk from E into B7. Open 6th, 3rd fret, open 5th, 1st fret, now walk me right into the B7. 